owning a home, good investment? Yeah, Plus, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. especially no now, brainer. you know, with rent being up. Certainly in Atlanta. And anywhere actually came out with um, a study, I think it was yesterday or today, saying that if you bought a home three years ago, you have $125,000 in equity average. I think wow. owning a home is one of the best ways to start building wealth. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, obviously, we I think we all obviously believe in the industry. We, we believe in it. We're all homeowners in the room. We support our, our clients in, in buying property. At the end of the day, I've seen so much wealth creation from home ownership and, and, yeah. and that world, well, uh, hands down. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's that stepping stone into your future. Um, I know people are like, oh my gosh, interest rate, you know, it could be 6%, 7%, 8%, but the interest rate on a rental is 100%. Yeah. So. You're paying somebody else's mortgage. It, it, exactly. Right. And, and profit. And then on the other side, like in the, for investment properties too, I mean, you can get all this passive income, you know, the, the, you have to deal with the, the tax situation because you, it's it's uh, income coming in, so you have to um, offset it with uh, certain expenditures. But you know, it's just a great way to have passive income to to, to you know, it's like a side hustle, and you can continue to build your wealth. You know, the, 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 you funny you mentioned on that because I just came back from a conference, and one of my big takeaways was investment properties and, and income producing properties. And and I'm guilty of it. Like I'll fully disclose, like I have not helped my clients enough generate wealth right? Most of our clients will buy their primary residence. They'll raise their families there. They'll live there very happily ever after. They'll move a few times here and there, but then they put all their money in the stock market or they go put their money elsewhere, right? So they go put it in the market or wherever else you're going to want to put it into, um, you name it. But what we don't do a good enough job, and I don't do a good enough job, is sitting down and having those conversations about how you can create generational wealth by buying property. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. if you have a little bit of extra cash on hand, rather than going into the stock market, which is pretty volatile right now, let's have some conversations about generation, so, some wealth. I mean, mm -hmm. great ideas, and I'm by no means a tax person, but you, well, especially if you have children, talk about like college future. I mean, if, if you got somebody else paying the house off for you and then after 15 years, you right. got a debt free asset, that's, that's real money. Right. I mean, the other part of it too is let's just say you had $500,000 um, and you, and you wanted it. Now nah, let's not use that. Let's use a hundred thousand dollars. You got a hundred thousand dollars sitting in your account. You've done well for yourself and you want to go join the, the stock market game. A hundred grand today in the stock market is worth how much? Anyone want to guess? 100 grand, right? 100 grand <laughs> cash? Are you talking about like yielding? No, let's just, you're, gonna, you're not a trick okay. question. 100,000, okay. you're, you're going to write a check and you're going to invest in the stock market. You got 100 grand worth of stocks, right? For today. For today. Mm -hmm. That could go up or down. Well, that's the gamble. It could be night tomorrow. The, that, that's the gamble. If you had $100,000 today and you brought that into the real estate spectrum, that could be $500,000 worth of, of, of home ownership or home, home investment opportunities. You could take that 100,000 slice it and dice it into, into quarters and buy four different properties, right? right? And so there's so much more wealth that you can create on the investment side. And, and I just don't do a good job talking about like it. Like conveying um, that to clients. I yeah, think I mean, it's long-term wealth. It's, it's a long-term like game. You get, you get the appreciation, plus you get the income. The income pays off your mortgage and eventually that turns into just straight cash. Think, oh, but oh, I don't want to deal with it, right? I don't, well, I think I don't some people are overwhelmed it. by two properties. So there's the move up too. Like you bought a $200,000 home, you know, you made $50,000 on it over a period of time. So then you take that 50000 you put it down, you buy a $400,000 home and you continue to move up mm -hmm. so that when you retire, you may be in a $2 million home you can sell off. So you've got $200 million you know, sitting in the bank that you can use for your retirement. I would all of two hundred million. Yeah, two hundred million. Sorry. But you have the virus who are taking the original home, keeping it as an investment yeah. property. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you know, it may be more than you need, or maybe you know, you're moving into another like maybe more expensive area, but it's money that you're putting in, you know, into something that that's going to grow building. at a quicker yeah. rate than where you could probably. It's, yeah. it's a conversation about the hassle versus the reward. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, every. Sure, putting in the stock market, great. It, it will. It's going to do what it's going to do. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. All you got to do is read the paper, or you know, or, or you know, look on TV. But you know, the house is definitely going to be more of a hassle. It's going to be more work. But in the end, it's going to be much more. It, it's going to go up, regardless. I mean, unless crazy stuff happens. Crazy well, stuff especially happens. if you got somebody paying the bill, right? Yeah. I right. mean, as long as it's covered. I mean, you could make the argument. I mean, I, I have some clients that will be like, "Well, I want, I want this income." Who really cares? As long as it's covering the expenses, mm -hmm. I mean, if it covers the mortgage on it, if it covers the taxes, it covers the maintenance, in 15 years, you got an asset that's got no debt attached to it. Right. That's well, a win in my I opinion. think it's important to figure out like, 
you know, what are the people looking for in that investment property? Sure. Are they looking for that quick flip? Are they looking for a rental that's going to give you six, eight, ten percent return? They're going to sell it in three to five years, or are they look for something that they're, they're going to hold on to for 15, 30 years. They don't care if it makes any money for yeah. now, as long as it's not losing the money. Right. So it just depends on what the individual. Yeah, I mean, I think goals, goals are nice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I by no means am I a tax person, so <laughs> wherever this video may go, don't hold me responsible. I did not come up with this strategy. You know, one of the ideas I heard the other day was like, you know, again coming back to the kids, just because I have two girls. Um, if you have a 529 savings plan and you're saving for their, their education in the future, I don't think, and again, don't quote me on this, I probably should research before I put this out there, but you can take that 529 investment that you've been saving for and pay for their room and board, right? So part of their education is room and board. Well, if they go to college at the University of Georgia, buy yourself a nice little property in Athens, yeah. let your kid be there. That 529 is going to pay back the LLC that owns the investment property. Hmm. Good income. Yeah. You're, you're paying yourself back, yeah, essentially. So yeah. I think there's a lot of creative ways to do yeah. some of this stuff. So I guess we just need to have more conversations with clients right. about we have some opportunities that we're not educating you enough on. Let's have the conversation. Yeah. So Smart. Cool. That's all I got. Yep. No, cool. That makes sense.